Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, it's Reggae and oh goodness me. It's not great, alright, because I've got a cold again. You know, I don't go outside, I don't understand how this is possible, but I have got one again, and I sound nasally and dreadful, so afraid that the voice will sound like this, but if you derive some form of enjoyment from hearing people with colds, today is your lucky day because you're gonna get plenty of that. In Ponos's newfound spirit of putting new versions of old stages, something I love that they're doing, because it's going back to old stuff rather than just pumping out loads of new stuff, some of which is questionable, we're building upon what was there before. Well, in that spirit, we've got the Queen Bee again, which is, I think, at least a little bit fascinating, because if you saw the survey, I was like, Ooh, Oh, Queen Bee is quite nicely designed, and it is. And then, as if by magic, there's another Queen Bee in Queen's Condemnation to follow Queen's Coronation, which should certainly be an interesting one. We're now getting into rather scary places in that these are harder versions of what were the kind of hardest-ish stages in the game at that point. Those deadly get-your-unit-out-of-it stages, especially with the difficulty of our Ostrov Hanya and things like that. Debu of the Dead being just unquestionably silly. And Queen Queen Bee being for at least a while quite difficult, I remember calling it the sting of death. It's a little bit scary like that, but eventually managed to get into the rhythm and managed to do it. And I really actually quite enjoyed the level. So I'm glad to see it back, but it's a little bit scary that we've made a development from these previous stages. Still, worry ye not, because I will look at the information and hopefully some questions will be allayed. Let's have a look at what we are to be told. Oh, it's a no continue stage. That's, that's less kind of good than I was hoping, but I think that's a common theme of them. And another deadly difficulty stage, guaranteed chance of million XP, we don't really care about that. Past that didn't tell us much, it's two total stages like we've been finding with the coming back to the cyclone stages, so let's give this one a go. Queen's Condemnation has within it Honey Drip. I'm not sure Honey Drip is quite as exciting a name as Honey Trap. I mean, maybe in my ill state, Honey and Lemon might have done me quite well. In any case, there's conditions on this one, and ooh, only 3,900 monies or less. That then is probably deliberately gauged to lock out things like A Bahama, Aruran, quite a lot of Ubers as well. We could only have Jizo in first form, but I'm sure it'll be useful in first form. Just the big chunky Ubers like Dioramas, even Springtime Kenshin, no, will be outlawed in this case. Battle restrict is in place. So let's use this slot then. This was here for slimy stallions. The top row at the moment for that is all combos and actually I remember Swimmer Cat being really useful the last time. We I at least have the opportunity to use crazed cats. We sort of want things that are fast and a bit anti-floating maybe? Let's have a look at it in that sense. Oh, of course, the one, the only octopus cat would probably be quite a sensible choice. Other than that, Cats in the Cradle is the only Uber that we've got within the price restriction. And actually, it's relatively fast and probably going to be better than Peach Devils for that job. I just thought about Cameraman Cat as well. I'm actually, you know what, I'm going to go quite conscientious. Fewer Ubers, no Jizo. I mean, I know Jizo is probably hugely useful, but we're going to go specific trait until we find out otherwise, because at least so far far in these first stages it's been fairly normal and then they introduce something pretty scary come the second stage so maybe Jizo will be more useful there or maybe I'm completely wrong. Let's try this in the level and see what on earth happens. Here we go then, now plenty of combos, it's mainly for the Moby Dick for defence but we've got a huge base health now and there is Queen Bee, lovely to see again Queen Bee, hello indeed. With its long range of fire, Fishman gets in nice and quickly, and actually, so does Island. This is a great start for upgrading Worker Cat, and we already got a knockback on it there. Excellent start then. Another Fishman through, good. We have two of them there, and probably, like, Jewel Islands are strong enough to make their way through there, are they not? Ah, Brollos now. Yes, of course, they were, they were a thing. It's going to be a little bit more difficult now then. Oh, we've got a really disadvantageous cannon on for that. And, of course, Cats in the Cradle is ways 
because it should be awful for Brollos. And it's not as fast as I remember it being. Oh well, no Brollos at the moment. Let's hope they don't come out and spoil the fun of the waves of cats in the cradle. Wabam! And there we go, there's a knockback on Queen Bee. Good. Some more jewel islands, if my monies will permit. And then another swimmer fish man. Should probably let my monies go up a bit while we're sort of stuck in this perpetual <laughs> And Sloth has been knocked back and so we've managed to get back inside a kind of meaningful range again, which is good. We've got Octopus Cat up to Queen Bee, but of course it gets decimated by the Sloth, which it has no ability against. And now we've got Brollo's back out, so not so great. But I think if I'm sensible with my monies here, I can just rinse and repeat with this. Doesn't seem like we're under nearly as much pressure as we would have been back when the stage was originally here, when it was like the GCSE period. It's been so long. As I say all this, of course, about rinsing and repeating, we get into a lot of trouble with getting stuck further and further back. I thought my fish man would remedy that, but he's been wombo comboed into oblivion. I'm just going to have to try my best to knock everything back and stand my ground with some manica razors. That's the fastest thing I have and the cheapest. Jointly. Then, as a matter of urgency, get the worker cat up so that we can more efficiently deal with these sorts of brollo waves. But as soon as I say that, of course, more monies are required to deal with the impending doom that has apparently arrived. Go, 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 fish man! Yeah, you're slowed! Oh. Octopus Cat is nowhere near the silver bullet I thought it might be. I guess when everything is slowed into oblivion by Queen Bee's attack, they all do become slightly useless. There's a sloth knock back there, so I'm hoping eventually the Chaos Moon outranging Rascal will be gone, and then we'll be more easily able to deal with the Queen Bee with anti-floating stuff that won't get decimated by the sloth. Dear me, like the Octopus Cat's just moving forward and moving backwards again. It's... <laughs> It's like he's trying to climb his way the wrong way up an escalator. Go on, surely. Surely my monies are managed all right. Surely I've got enough units here to get a good hit on the sloth and get it gone. Surely with my level 7 worker cat we can push forward and get rid of the rascal sloth. Brollos are gone, but so are my cameraman forces. Well, back quite far anyway. Come on, we need to start pushing forward again. But there's just almost no opportunity to do that. And of course, the Queen Bee attack animation doesn't take long. So there's no hope of really cancelling it in any meaningful way. We're just going to have to live with being perpetually slowed until the sloth is gone. That's a max worker cat. And we're finally in range where we need to be. Queen Bee is not on the base. That's a knockback there. And we have knocked them back into our range of safety. Excellent. First try, wham bam skablam, he's done it. And the second stage, also strangely named, is Royal Jelly Hell Merciless. And this one has no restrictions but also no continues. So Cloud's coming along with those silver linings and I'm probably going to have to be even more astute and thoughtful in how on earth I'm going to make some sort of all-purpose magical strat in my first attempt of a stage that I have no idea the containments of. Might be exciting, might be quite tragic. Here's a thought. All those millions of types of icons. Where is resist slow? That one. Right. Let's have a look at all of these and put in some of this stuff. Oh, I was thinking of using dioramas and it resists slow. Well, that's really rather good. Let's put that in. Might actually get a useful experience from it. Oh, sorry. Now, Wind Dance of Valkyrie is actually really very fast, I think. Mind you, I said about Cats in the Cradle and I was wrong. But from what I remember, she is. And so being in the resist slow category as well, this should theoretically be very useful indeed. As for the other stuff, Jewel Islands is really remarkably very multi-purpose and until I see what else is in this stage, I probably can't personalise it very well. So I might just keep it like that. Punch, punch, punch. Oh, and why did I forget that? Of course, punch, punch, punch works really rather perfectly with Swimmer or Fishman to create a defence combo with the Attack Up combo. Now, Ultraland the Ultraman is multi-purpose, but I doubt in a stage like this will be of much use, but he's there just in case he is. Mainly, I was thinking about the Titans. Nice and durable. They won't resist slow, but hopefully they'll stick around for a good while. Oh, it's a wall 
Waldoge! I haven't seen one of them in ages! Hello, Waldoge! You've invoked some sort of high-pitched mode in my accent. Well, hello anyway, it's been ages since I've seen you, so that's a tiny bit exciting. Huge base length we've got here. Let's try and cover it, because the queen bee has appeared, although it moves slowly. We don't want it to be moving at all. Waldoge might have plenty of health, but with our rover cat, at least we're gonna be nicely resistant. And of course, queen bee's an alien, something I forgot to mention or even remember for myself, despite seeing it right in front of me, that should be an added benefit for Robocat. As long as the wall doge isn't there, because that might well cancel it out, which it seems to be doing to everything. Good knock back there from Jamira. I think I'm just going to try and level up my worker cat at the moment so that we can actually afford to put this stuff out. And then the occasional manica razor. Really good knockbacks from Jamira. I am very impressed with your performance today. Oh, MVP! Oh, it's an otter smack you! Right, okay, so, oh, what I said about Jizo, that would have been great, wouldn't it? But he doesn't put it in, he forgets to, in classic Reggit fashion. Let's just try and make some makeshift anti-otter smack you lineup. Let's do a Manic Jamira, see if it can do much the same sort of thing. And then just Manic Erasers as much as I can. We'll put the Worker Cat upgrading on hold for now. And we got the wave, but it impacted absolutely nothing sufficiently enough to get a knockback. Oh, this is a potent combination of these two here. I'm not enjoying this. We are making absolutely no progress through this lot at all. We are being roundly decimated. Oh, oh, ah, oh, oh, Cyberhorn died. We were close to having some sort of comeback there, but obviously they were on the base and there's nothing we could do about it. Back to the drawing board then. And if I'm locking out the top row for a combo, there's nothing else I can really do with that. And maybe that's kind of unwise. But then maybe also if I can place Ultraman the Ultra Lan in the right place We can sort out that Cyber Horde Otter Spack you problem and So maybe saving up at the start would be a better course of action to help with that I'm gonna put a rich cat on and seeing as we've got so so many of them a sniper cat just in case there's something on the base we need to get off and nothing else will get it off with items with a bit more experience can we get it done straight away a manic eraser and then a jizo behind them in a start quite familiar to many starts the jizos have only been slowed they haven't died that's great so maybe some damage will be got off we are now in the range of having enough monies for diorama so that's good worker cat doesn't need to be upgraded and so we are in the best possible position to deal with this stuff at the start. Past that, I might put a Jamira along, maybe a Fishman, but just conserve monies past that. Make sure we always have roughly enough for a Dioramas, and that should do us just fine. Excellent, Jamira, disposing with those wall doges that seem completely immovable without your help. And there's the Otter Smack you. I'm going low on my monies again because of putting out Jamira, I shouldn't be doing that. I am gonna go for Wind Dancer Valkyrie because it's fast and it's exciting. Let's see what kind of damage it can do. Knock him back. No, don't move forward. I did that to protect you. Every flipping unit doing that. Meat shield for it damage for it. Surely we can get some damage off. The Jizos are relatively nicely protected. Wind Dancer Valkyrie dies off, leaving me with no monies and in no better a position. It's a faux pas. He's done ruined his own chances. Silly Reggit. Righty-o. One more try then. Maybe I should employ Jiangxi really, because as much as on paper Rover is a brilliant idea, the problem is it's not been great in practice. So I don't know whether to believe that on paper if I get a bit further it'll actually be of great use or if it's just being a bit of a money drain and i'm gonna do it goodbye wind dance of valkyrie hello nice speedy manic mohawk straight away then oh wrong one no i'd do that right defend with these for as long as we possibly can and we know that jamira is quite good for those wall doges oh the jiangshi as well being slowed actually sort of stays a meat shield there for quite a long time it survived a hit and then just had a bit of a relax back you know what, I'm going to do Dioramus more kind of immediately. Let's start the fight away from our base. Against principles of luring and where best to conduct the battle. But Queen Bee has a scary kind of range and I'd rather have the peace of mind. Good knockback, Jamira. That's what we like to see. Here we go then. All the units are now on some bled. Let's see. Oh, they must be really strong. Dioramus is having no impact on them. I mean, it's the wrong type of enemy for Dioramus to be especially effective against. Oh, a knockback already there. That is vicious. Maybe I've been going wrong in thinking that the magnification wouldn't be so ridiculous. Flippy! 
heaven's sake! That quickly? You, you you are joking, right? That is absolutely insane. The cyber horn is gone, though. Thank goodness for that. That is absolutely ridiculous. Save up for Jizo meat shield whenever I possibly can. Hopefully, we can get rid of this thing. But everything here is slowed as well, and that does not bode well. Because we're just in some clump of queen bee misery. But, thank goodness for that, we have got rid of the otter smack you. And can finally take it a little bit further into the battle. Providing that we don't just get sniped for the rest of it. Manic mohawk strats seem to work well. Especially the wall doge, which I think is actually single target. So that's worked rather well. We're actually going to get quite a lot of damage off with these manic mohawks here. Just by virtue of the fact that all of them at once biting at queen bee. Let's give it our best shot for now with a very few monies we have. Rich Cat was definitely necessary here, but even so, really struggling for funds. And there's another Cyberhorn. I don't know how much more of this we can take. Oh, it's another Otter Smack you. You know what? This being in wave form reminds me of Seas of Death. And Seas of Death is impossible. Just like this a little bit. One time it was almost failure. But a second time you're not going to have recovered well enough for all of this tirade of finding its way to you and so I think I'm gonna have to concede defeat on that one with not even an inkling of R oh, so close. That is quite confidence knocking. Right, part of me couldn't bear to leave it there because I realised sort of some minor mistakes that I'd made or things that I could improve immediately without waiting for advice. Catalyte, which I don't like using but is statistically better than Rover, will be used here to see if it can make a difference. Then, past that, I've swapped out Dioramas for Shingen. Almost said Kenshin, but it's sort of the other way round. This one, huge damage only to black and alien enemies. Surely perfect for this circumstance. Hopefully this will be what we need to win and we will find out in due course. So I've got Jamira out, Swimmer, and it already seems like Catalyte's doing a good job there. Excellent news. I'm gonna use probably Manic Mohawks all the time and then Jiangxi some of the time just to keep the monies up but also the meat shielding up at the same time. Hopefully that strikes a nice balance. When the Otter Smack Q appears we might go for Shingen but only when we know it's in a safe position because obviously where we came on stock before was when there was a second wave and if Shingen dies on the first one we're gonna reach exactly the same problem. Okay Shingen is out I'm gonna meet you with all I've got but it is quite difficult because again we're running out of monies and I could have probably changed my cannon to be more favorable that's something I've forgotten to do throughout the whole time that just shows doesn't it that a hit from Shingen does absolutely nothing to them immediately come on good we got a hit there so even if it is knocked back we are at least in the process of doing damage to them they are just unthinkably strong but there we go there's the knockback and the kill we need on Cyberhorn and there it is on Otter smack you. Excellent. Now an opportunity to refresh and regroup and get the monies back up and just probably spam a little bit. Jizo, good. We got stuff inside the range as we did before and actually they're doing really rather wonderfully well there. My worry is, oh that's my worry. Oh I didn't think about the fact that Queen Bee would probably kill off my Shingen but nonetheless we have got knockback damage on Queen Bee and again through this kind of Jizo stack going on here that we've had in a brief reprieve between the waves of difficult enemies. That is surely going to end now but hopefully if we can keep stalling maybe we'll have enough time to come round to having Shingen again. That would be ideal. Oh, the recharge time is achingly slow. Gonna sacrifice some of my monies just to try and keep this cyber horn at bay. The Otter Smack Q's here now. I was just gonna remark about how we had a nice reprieve from that. It's gonna start to get difficult again. We got away from Manic Jamira. I could bring out something like Ultraman if necessary, but I'm thinking probably gonna get caught out by Queen Bee in that kind of situation. It's all about waiting for Shingen. At least I hope that we will have the time to be able to do so. Be quick, be fast, and be there. Jamira has given us an excellent little bit of time there by knocking them back, but will it be enough time? The Cyberhorn's gone. Oh, that is very good indeed. Okay, better than I would have expected. We just must have chipped away at it sufficiently enough, and there is Shingen. Surely this is going to be a good opportunity, but I haven't thought about this well at all, have I? Because if there's another wave, I should have saved Shingen for that. Nothing much I can do except just go with it now, and actually the Otter Smack Q was quite troublesome, so maybe we did need it after all. Let's just keep going. 
that's all I can do and all I can hope for. You can do it, units. Come on. There's another damage knockback, at least I assume, unless it's Rover with some ability that I didn't remember, which would be really tragic if we were like 90% boss health, but no! Oh, we've done it. Oh, that's wonderful. Excellent. The ridicule shall not appear, or at least in as large amounts, because in the end, I've managed to do it. And yes, Catalyte was superior there, but I still don't like the idea of a flying leak shield. So I'll only use it when I need to, but I needed to there, and it came up smelling like roses. We've managed it, and we've really done rather well out of it. Absolutely cracking. We'll have to have a look at that in due course. Back to the original outro, I guess. But this time, we've won! I hope that the video has been of satisfaction to you. If it has not been, please let me know why. And until that point, I shall be off. So, all that leaves me to say is that I bid you goodbye, and I hope you enjoyed.